Right. In this video, we'll look at how to deploy automated floating linked clone desktop. So first we will prepare master VM as part of that. First we will disable firewall, disable power options, install any apps required, then install or enable FIPS, then install Horizon agent. So I'm going to take VM3 as the master image. Let me rename it as I think I'm saying floating linker clone. So let me take this machine, let me log in and make sure that you have the, the VMware tools installed. Let me go to the control panel. Disable Windows Firewall. It's already disabled. Let me go to the power options. Let me check the so they've set never never so that it doesn't go into the suspend mode. Then I'm not installing any applications into this. Let me upgrade the VMware tools so that it will be up to date. I'm saying complete install. So once the installation completed, reboot it. I'm saying no. Let me change the FIPS. I'm enabling the FIPS, then we will reboot it. So I'm enable system, use flip compliant, enable it, say okay. So now let me reboot it.
So we have this mesh and now what we did is firewall or options. We are not installing any applications as of now. So enable FFs. So we did that. Now we'll install the Horizon agent. Horizon agent. So I'm enabling a FIPS. So make sure that view composer is selected. And personal management is enabled. So just finish and reboot it. So once the reboot is done, just shut it down. So that's the, all the changes apply. So I'm setting down the machine. Take a snapshot. Take a snapshot. So go to the, take a snapshot, give a snap, snapshot name called as a floating linked clone. So now we have prepared the master image. So second step which we need to do, create a desktop. So log on to connection server log on to or launch the horizon administrator console we create desktop so I'm just going to the horizon administrator console then desktop pools add a desktop pool automated 
floating view composer linked clones select the linked clones so I'm giving in called as an HR hyphen floating hyphen linked clones HR I'm saying floating linked clone so next rest all I'm saying power off when the machines are not in stage I'm giving HR iPhone and three machines one let me power up deploy the machines up front disposable redirect so parent VM I'm setting VM3 floating snapshot floating the, the one which we created the snapshot so VM folder location select the discovered virtual machine host and cluster under which host and cluster you want the machine to be created select the cluster resource pool under which resource pool you want to create it if you have multiple resource pools you can select it so in my case I don't have any resource pools so in which data stores you want this machines to be created I'm just selecting the local data stores say ok so select the show all data stores then select the local data stores select ok so click on next so view accelerator guest customization select Windows 10 specification template next finish So this would take good amount of time. Okay. Right. The next thing we need to do called as an entitled desktop port to users. To users. First select the desktop port, then entitled select users so I'm selecting the HR floating desktop pool click on end titles add end title add the users so we can add the users or a groups so I'm selecting HR select HR people say ok So now we have entitled the the desktop pool to the HR users. Let's double click on that and let's monitor the the deployment of the virtual desktops. So we need to wait till the provisioning completes and comes to the availability state. So we have the motion machines finished and we can see one is available the other two are provisioned the other two we are showing unknown status the reason during the pool creation we set that only one machine to be up and running so let's go to the vSphere we can see three machines got deployed HR1 HR2 and HR3 so as we Defined a policy to be powered on only one spare machine. Now, as of now, one spare machine got powered on. So now let's we test the desktop pool. So log on to client machine. 
already we installed the horizon client application so i'm going to the client application client server end user pc launch the horizon client connect to the server so we are connecting to a gateway so we need to test the desktop pool log into the client pc then launch the client or a gen client login with user so i'm going to the client pc so click open the client so we can see the server just connected so give the username hr1 as we assign floating desktop to the hr users so login with the now we can see hr floating the desktop pool name right click and say launch so we can see the desktop is getting launched as the user is first time is logging into this pc that is setting up the pc let's wait for few seconds to complete this So now we can see the desktop is yes. ready. So now the user is able to access the virtual desktop, which is in the. So let me go to the Horizon console. Refresh it. The desktop pool. We can see here now hr3 machine is connected to hr1 and we can see hr1 machine has been powered on as we said that one should be spared then which is an availability state go to the sessions so we should be able to see the active sessions over here so which is connected which is connected state 